we have to stop calling ourselves people of color. They're using that against us. By calling ourselves people of color and we stop using black, we're helping to extinguish our voice in the public conversation because nobody's hearing black no more. Nobody's hearing American or African no more. Most black people, when they describe themselves, what do they say? I'm a person of color, people of color. By doing this, you're lumping yourselves up with the Latinos, the Arabs, the East Indians, the Native Americans, the homosexuals, the women. Here's the problem with that. Once they get us calling ourselves people of color, which they've already had, let's say two years, right? For two years, most black people have stopped identifying as black. They now say people of color. They're going to get to a point where you're completely identified with all these other non-white people who can't stand you any more than the Caucasian. And then you know what they're going to do? They're going to flip all these other people of color against your interests. Let me give you an example of how they're doing it right now. Mm -hmm. There's surveys being carried out across America where they're asking other people of color, reds, yellows, browns, poor whites, what do you think about reparations to black people? This is what they're doing right now. It's happening now. And guess what the Asians are saying? I don't think they need reparations. America isn't racist. What do you think the East Indians are saying? I don't think they need reparations. America isn't racist. What do you think the Native Americans and the European Jews are saying? I don't think they need reparations. America isn't racist. So the same people you identify with as people of color, when questions come up about your issues and your agenda, they can cancel it. Why? Because all the other people of color who you now identify with have taken a vote 